From the guy to the yeah, building! Hell yeah! Yes! It's a problem snake. What up? Dude, I appreciate you taking time out of your day to do this, man. First, how are you? Whereabouts in the world are you right now? And plug or promote anything you'd like. Uh, well, I'm AJ from Fire from the Gods. Thank you for having me, fellas. Uh, this is, you know, I do stuff like this. I think it's cool as shit to hook up with people that typically aren't super well known in the media scape and to just sit here and chat and talk to you guys and hang out as real people. But um I'm here in Austin, Texas, where the band is located and the where the band is from. I'm not from Texas. I've been here now for the better part of seven, almost eight years. Sorry, six almost seven years. But uh just got off tour, man. So just got off tour with fucking Megadeth and Five Finger Death Punch. Got a new record out called Soul Revolution. People seem to be digging it. It's fucking killer to see people respond to your music that way. But, uh, man, I'm just hanging out, man. A Friday, it's a wet Friday evening. It's a little cold. I think you guys are on the West Coast, right? You guys are in California, yeah? Yeah, we are both in, in California. Um, dude, but touring, shit, touring shit. with Megadeth. What? Give me, give me a, a fun story backstage somewhere uh, that you just have uh, with Dave or somebody in Megadeth. Cool, cool. Uh, uh, there are a couple, actually, but... Um, he, he's a funny dude. He's a weird dude, but at the same time, he's he's super insightful. And when you when you've been like a rock legend and a, and a metal god for that long in the scene, you're bound to be a little kooky, right? Or have a little bit of a different way of thinking. But he's a super safe dude, uh, and safe by the by. I mean, by safe is just like a cool guy, incredibly intelligent, knowledgeable about music and life, and very insightful. So I really dug that aspect of him. But uh, really fun story one day. We were backstage, and I think Five Finger was on at this point, so Megadeth was finished. And it was kind of late in Five, uh, five Finger set, so you, you kind of get the, 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 uh, the feeling that all oh, life backstage is about to start springing up again because everyone's going to start working to get fucking uh, Five Finger off stage. But we go into our trailer, and... Uh, fucking Dave is in there with a hood on. He looks, he kind of looks like a, like, like a, like an 80s skater kid with his hood and like his like <laughs> vans and weird just stands in the corner and he's smoking a bowl. And we're like, yo, Dave, what's up? You want to smoke? Yeah, let's go. And then he just left. He just ran away. He just like kind of got on his scooter and was like, man. And we were like, okay. But, uh, Besides, I mean, that like that's just the kookiness of people hanging out backstage and the kookiness of people in general, how they act. But in general, the dude is an awesome guy, man. Like all the guys in that band, um, Dirk, with his years of experience, Dirk was in Soil Work, one of my favorite bands. Um, Kiko Bolsonaro, the uh, the the um, the guitar player, metal. I mean, this guy shreds you backstage every day, just hearing him warm up and shit. So it was awesome, man. And then obviously, Five Fingers is, is fucking cool as shit. Those guys, they, they really support are. us a lot. Been hanging out with those guys for, for years, even hanging out with Ivan before he was in Five Finger back in his motor grader days. Uh, you know, when I was coming up in bands and going to shows and shit like that. Uh, Ivan was always a massive supporter of mine and just always had a just sweet dude every time we, we linked up. And now that he's kind of like the real big homie in this, uh, he's even better, man. And he, he's been a lot cooler and just more just kind of a bigger brother now these days instead of just a homie. I, I believe the first time I ever saw you guys live was either at the last Warp Tour or the Warp Tour before the last Warp Tour. I can't remember, but I remember your set being rather aggressive and heavy and when i was jamming soul revolution today it sounded more I, and i mean this in the nicest compliment form like like mainstream oh, big it, sounding yeah. uh and it's okay for yeah. bands to change their sound but would you how how does a band go from being a little aggressive and heavy it, are you just yeah uh 
that that's a good question, dude. And you you know, I know people might think sometimes like that might be offensive. Like dudes are like, oh well, you softened up, or the you know they 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 say like you've sold out, shit like that. But it, it, it's not that. Ki- I don't want to speak for other bands, but I'll speak for our case. We wanted to try something different. <clears throat> Well, it rocks. It rocks. We, it's fantastic, first of all. Yeah, we, we wanted to try something a little different. The I think if we had gone into the studio now, after being on tour with Korn, after being on tour with Five Finger, after coming up and been like active and touring without the break, you probably would have got a more metal-sounding record. Whereas all the shit that we were going through from the middle of COVID all the way to... I guess it's not really over, but what we're dealing with now, mm-hmm. Soul Revolution took a kind of, and it took an approach of, I want to get this out. These songs are emotional, and we had so much success with songs like Right Now. We wanted to test our boundaries and see if we could really play this big rock game. Because at heart, we're still a metalcore metal band. You know what I'm saying? You see us live, and it's heavy as fuck. And people are like, that's not at all what I expected. When you see us live, you know, there's, we're, 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 we go hard. You know what I'm saying? And the music sounds a lot heavier. And I sing it a lot more aggressively. There's a lot more screaming. You know, there's a lot more, like, heavier metalcore aspects to it. And people don't get real bored of that shit. So they, they're like, oh, that's cool that you can switch it up a little bit like that. So I don't think we've really changed. We're still the same same metalcore fucking war tour, tour, tour band we're now just in a different arena and we're trying to hang out there you know what i'm saying doing a fantastic job at that my co-host uh is jb jb what question do you have for aj what up jb how's it going excuse how's it me going? guys it was nice meeting you yes, pleasure my pleasure so yeah um i hear an accent you said you're not originally yeah. from from texas where are you from I'm from New York City, but I lived in, in England and uh, gone to West Africa for a long time. And my family is Jamaican. So, I mean, I'm an American. I just lived out the country for a bit. And I picked up an accent as a kid and my fam- having family in England and shit. So I just kept it. I love it. <laughs> AJ, what's, what's the worst show Fires ever played? <laughs> Everything went wrong at this show. Uh, we'll do some fun questions well, for a little bit. You know what? Um, when you start out, you get those real bummers, man. You know what I'm saying? You could, you could, everything, there. there's great shows and then you're opening for someone and you're on a national bill and then you go back and it's only one-off shows. So you'll go from a show where like, oh, we're opening for We Came As Romans. This is back in the day shit. We're on tour with We Came As Romans and Counterparts for four shows. We do those four shows and then we do a couple of shows to route ourselves back and it's just shows by ourselves and other local bands and there's like five people in the room, ten people in the room. The early, early days when we really weren't that popular outside of Texas and then so we played a show once in uh, Marietta, Georgia. I don't even remember the promoter's name but we got there and we were supposed to get paid our guarantee. Obviously, we didn't because dude did with the money. But before that, we're waiting for our buyout, which is, you know, your little payout to, to get yourself something to eat. And this guy comes back with two gas station grilled cheese sandwiches for <laughs> six for six grown men. No beer, by the way. He didn't even buy us a six pack. My man came back with two <laughs> grilled cheese sandwiches for six grown ass men to share on tour in Georgia, by the way. It was fucking it was horrendous. Yeah, that dude. Like I was like, I can't believe we're being treated this way. But at the same time, I was like, I know where we've been treated this way. And this is how this is just part of paying your dues. So that was probably one of the worst things that ever happened, man. Um, we some like myself and like Richie tend to be a little superstitious and stuff like that. Um, Richie more so than myself. And we played at the Thompson House in Kentucky, which is said to be one of the most haunted places in America. It's the house, the, it's a venue now, but it's the house of the guy that created the Thompson machine gun. Uh, wow. And it's a dope venue in Kentucky. Big up, to, uh, excuse me, big up Kentucky and that. But uh, fucking, we played the show, we played the tour and nothing went wrong this tour. Like everything was perfect. We were about to uh, sign with Rise Records and shit like that. And then we ended up playing at the, the Thompson House a few tours before, a few shows before we got back to Texas. And that night, all like the, our computer went out. So all the tracks, 
all of our uh, click, everything had gone. So we were just raw dog in the set. It went out in like the middle of the set. And then Richie was like, yo, it's the ghost. It's the ghost in here. <laughs> and everyone talks about the ghost in the green room and all that shit. So that, 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 that was, that's not on par with Georgia, but that was probably one of our worst shows. It was dope. That is crazy. Somebody, yeah, uh, yeah. my buddy Cody in chat is saying that when he played there, his drum kit got stolen. So there is all kinds of nonsense that goes down at the Thompson House for sure. The, at the Thompson House? Yeah, at the Thompson yeah, House. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, see? It's a little, it's a little shifty. They had a fucking bar around the corner that was doing some college bar, like, and they were doing dollar tequila shots. So you better believe we were exercising some demons that yeah. night. You're gonna get rowdy. AJ, you said you just got off tour in, in the downtime in between the next one and, and riding with the band. What what makes you happy hobby wise, hanging out with family? What do you do in your downtime? Oh uh, man, I do quite a bit, man. I you know, I work on other things in music. Uh I got a couple project couple irons in the fire right now, starting a label with one of my really good friends. Um I play soccer, you know, so I'm 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 doing that a lot. I got two kids, you know what I'm saying? So I got a family and shit like that. I smoke a ton of weed, try to stay up, you know. Excellent. I don't have that. I mean, I've got a couple of friends down here in, in Austin, but you know what I'm saying, you know, I kick back, have a beer. Normal shit, you know what I'm saying? Do, I don't Do you have do you have a, a pipe or something next to you yeah. real quick? I wanna say I could I could be able to hit a bowl with you at least once. Yeah, 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 bro. Let's do I got it. A bowl right here, man. I got my little while, while we while we do that, what is what is the song on Soul Revolution you're most proud of? I want to jam it for maybe some people that are watching that don't know who Fire from the Gods are. Well, you can jam Soul, jam the actual the, the title track. I mean, it's a uh, it is probably the closest to what we used what you heard, like "Excuse Me" and songs like that. But you know, it's a song that I like a lot, man. Cool. Let's get into it. Sit it cool. So, so AJ, as a band that's been on a couple of different labels, regarding bands that have never been signed, is that is that yeah. your guys' choice that we don't want to continue with Rise, we want to see what else is going on, or Rise, we decided to move on, and then you go to the next one? Because I know, I believe you guys are on your third label right now, correct? No, this is our second. Okay. But, um, you know, to be as transparent as possible with that situation... <laughs> We were, uh, excuse me, my allergies are fucking off the off the chain, dude. It's a rough season, but um, we, uh, Rise Records, we were about to discuss doing the next record, and both parties were like, man, we envisioned doing something a little different, and Rise being as where they were and growing the way they were, they were like, you know what, we love this band, but we want to see you guys fulfill your best fulfill your potential and get to the best you can do and we were and zo from five finger heard the band and was like holy shit so we were in the middle of looking for a new manager as well we weren't looking for a new label we were just looking for a new manager and he had just did this whole thing with bad wolves and he was like yo i fuck with this band and i want to help you guys i want to bring you guys along and then uh we spoke to Rise, and Rise spoke with some of the, the powers that be and came to an agreement, man. And we, we left amicably. And, you know, obviously, a couple of things have to exchange hands before you do something like that. But if you saw American Sun, the record was released by both Better Noise and Rise Records. So there was a collab. It was kind of unprecedented. It, was nothing, it wasn't something that people had really seen before. But it benefited us in a huge way because it took it took uh, a little bit for us to, um, you know, it, it helped us a lot. My you get like double promotion stuff. too, double double sure. double whammy promotion. Yeah, it's just me and my kids tonight. Their moms are out of town, so if we get interrupted by a five year old, don't uh, don't 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 be mad at me for it. No, it's all good. I have a six year old. All good. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah hello chat yeah. aj chat wants to know uh going back to the native narrative era excuse me um what did it feel like to the first time you heard uh one of your singles on octane or on the radio like what was, what was that feeling like the first time you had like the mama i made it moment <laughs> i kind of still have those moments bro but the first time 
on Octane when Excuse Me got played. I I had never owned Octane, but I specifically got it just to hear it. And now I now I've got Sirius XM in the car. I have, I've had it for the last six years, and it's been like the the shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I've developed a really good relationship with them. But that was kind of like wow dope but everything since then was like hustle 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 which it still is now so the really like fuck yeah moment for us was wicked let me open that for you uh i was gonna do the waffle you're like should i you guys got kids i have two six and seven oh, months <laughs> oh my days so I'd lose a lot Six of... Six and seven months? Yeah. Six yeah. Six and seven? <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, let's... Yeah, so um, the real fuck yeah moment came when Sirius XM, uh, the whole station, listed us as one of the art artists to succeed in 2020. But... We all know what happened in 2020, so we really didn't get our, our time in the sun, but that was a great moment to be recognized on a be amongst outside of our genre, not just inside rock as like a new up-and-coming band, but outside of the genre, people recognizing that we had something to offer. Like, that was that was like kind of the real cool, like, fuck your moment, and that happened on the, the second record. Hell yeah. Uh, we know you're busy. JB, we'll, we'll do final questions. Rattle off one more. I'll shoot off one more, and then we'll let you go, sir. And we appreciate you doing this. Big up, man. Big ups. Yeah. So you just mentioned that you just got off tour. Um, are, is there another tour in mind or something in the plans that you're allowed to tell us about? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're just working on the best the best opportunity for early 2023. I mean, we got a, a couple of uh, festival offers. So I, I know we'll be doing some of the American festivals. We did Europe this summer. So I don't know if we'll go back to Europe immediately. But um, we're working on a couple of tours. There's some cool names right now that are, that are looking to take us out. So you'll see something soon, for sure. But nice. we're going to tour relentlessly. I mean, we just put out a new record. We got a fucking tour. Sweet. AJ, what is the? This is my final question for you. What is the best advice that you could give a band that just formed today in a garage next door? Uh, that's tough. Don't I know. Do it, man. Nah. Don't do it. No, 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 no. Like, be um, you know, just believe in yourself and be yourself. No matter what they say, just be yourself. And I think that I say that because I like to learn that lesson the hard way. I've been doing this for a long time in a, a various different forms. Uh, I've done everything from drive people in their vans to do merch for bands. Um, I fucking, um, I, I've done it all, man. And I toured for years and I was always trying to be someone else. I was always trying to be something that wasn't exactly <clears throat> that portrayed me but now that i've kind of like found my voice a little bit and <clears throat> am are like 100 percent into being the person that i am things are starting to happen so never shy away from who you are no matter what they say no matter what negative press or what people say on the fucking internet enjoy yourself stay true to yourself be yourself good stuff we appreciate it. That's fantastic advice for sure. Dude, Soul Revolution is awesome. I jammed it this morning. Uh, we wish you nothing but continued success. Thank you so much for smoking a bowl with us. That was really cool of you. AJ, have a fantastic yes, day, sir. Enjoy your weekend. Yeah. Fire from the guns! Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>